bodybuilding is the toning, shaping, sculpting, and building of the skeletal muscles of the body using the system of weight training pioneered and developed by serious bodybuilders over the past 50 years, the most efficient and effective system of exercise ever created. It's good for everyone of all ages. Something that you just have to try once. It's something that everybody should do. It can work for anybody. If you want to look better, bodybuilding will do it. If your muscles are strong, you're going to hold yourself up better. You'll be able to play tennis until you're 95 years old. You'll be able to go for your long walks in the hills until you're 95 years old. Instead of letting age control your life, you control your age. You control your life. There are millions of people who do bodybuilding every day and don't know it. Certainly, if you train in a serious bodybuilding gym, you're a bodybuilder. However, if you work out in a health club or spa, whether you use exercise machines, cables, or free weights, you're also a bodybuilder. Even if you limit yourself to sit-ups, push-ups, and other calisthenics, you're still a bodybuilder. Because you really only have two choices. You can build your body or let it deteriorate. And young or old, male or female, athletic or not, intent on a career as a competitive bodybuilder or simply interested in health and fitness, if you're going to build your body, you might as well do it effectively. And that's what the Weeder system is all about. These videos that you're about to see removes the mystery of bodybuilding explaining step by step all the rules and techniques you need to know about building your body safely. In these tapes, my champion show you exactly how to use a Weeder principle that laid a foundation for creating modern bodybuilding. These principles are responsible for the powerfully built physiques you see today. So you're in good hands. Let the champion start showing you now exactly how you too can muscle up. System. The Weeder system. The Weeder system is basically a way of life. It's almost a master. You can use the Weeder system just to bring your body up to the level you want to. It is for everyone. You know, if you're going to work out, if you're going to be in fitness, you might as well get the, the best advice you can. And that advice is going to come in the form of, uh, whether it's direct or indirect, uh, the Weeder systems. The Weeder system for me has really Help me train properly. Now you have an advanced formula that you can follow and get involved with and get in touch with and take it on yourself as far as learning your own uh, style and technique of training. You can't just go in blind. If you've got a, a system there that you, that you can follow, it's going to save you a lot, a lot of time and a lot of effort. You have to know how the body works. You have to know how the body responds to nutrition, how it responds to supplements. That's very important. It takes it from an A to Z basis, whereby it's a gradual process of taking it from layperson. The general guy just getting started. There's someone who just basically goes in and, and knows absolutely nothing about the body. A nine to fiver or a full time student. Right up to be a champion bodybuilder. Be Mr. Olympia. Miss Olympia. Or Mr. America or Mr. Universe or even Mr. Neighborhood for that matter to uh, implement the Weeder system. And that's the benefit of it that you can refer back to these courses constantly. I'm a believer in the Weeder system. And if you want a bodybuilding physique, you better be too. I'm living proof that the Weeder systems work. It's essential that you have good direction like Weeder courses. Remember that everybody starts somewhere. We all start skinny or fat or somewhere in between, but basically we don't like the way that we look now. But then you have the choice to do something about it, and that's what the Weeder system is all about, getting that body that you want. So get her if you can, and let's do it right now. In the Weeder system, bodybuilding is accomplished by weight training, the stimulation of muscular development, not weight lifting. You develop muscles indirectly, training to stimulate the nervous system, which sends messages to the muscles, causing them to adapt, grow stronger and bigger. Here's how it works. The Weeder system is based on the concept of progressive resistance training. As your muscles get stronger, you increase the weight or set up the intensity to continue to challenge them. If you want to make progress, you have to use the Weeder principles. It's not the same course that was made together like the Charles Atlas course was put out in 1921-22. It's the same course now, some 70 years later, but the Weeder course has been updated constantly, and this is where Joe scored, because he's updated it with the most modern methods and the most modern techniques. Actually took his principles and put them down on paper. And put them all together in a way that people can understand them and use them. Took all the methods that Reeves was using, that Grimmick was using, that Ross was using, that I was using, 
and he compiled them into the WIDA courses. You'd be surprised at what you can do with information. That's your arsenal. One of the problems that I found in the gym is that you have a variety of different people giving you their opinions on how to train, whereas with the WIDA system, you have one person giving you all the information you need on how to become a success in bodybuilding. Joe Weider. Joe Weider. Joe Weider. Joe Weider helped me a lot. Weider has definitely helped me. If it wasn't for Joe Weider, I probably wouldn't have this wonderful career that I have today. I'm a very close friend of Joe Weider, and uh, I'm, of course, uh, one of those millions and millions of bodybuilders that have been inspired by Joe Weider and by his magazines. Ever since I was a 15-year-old boy in Austria, I've been reading his magazines, have been inspired by them, trained every day according to the WIDA principles, and my goal was to be Mr. Universe. And I think it was because of Joe WIDA's dedication and love for the sport. He saw the opportunities and the kind of potential that I had when I was in Austria, and he invited me to come to America. He gave me the chance. He opened up the doors of opportunities for me to come to America, to train here in the United States, and to develop myself into a world champion bodybuilder. Joe Vila has been in business before I was born. The guy's been around a long time, since 1936. The Weeder System is a comprehensive video program that covers a wide range of topics, ranging from weight training and fitness to diet, nutrition, and sports medicine. Joe Weeder has assembled more than 40 international bodybuilding champions, as well as a wide range of experts from the Weeder Research Group to create the most dynamic series of training videos ever conceived. Maybe the best training videos there ever will be. Cheating in weight training refers to using extra muscles or techniques like swinging the weight up using inertia to help perform the lift. Instead, lift and lower the weight using the specific muscles involved in that lift with no help from other muscles and no cheating. I don't cheat. You know, I don't use cheating principles. Sometimes I will when I'm weaker and I'm dieting and I'm not feeling really energy. Uh, I'll need to cheat a little bit because I don't have a trainer or someone that, that helps me. Continuous tension. When you lift or lower a weight, you should feel your muscles working smoothly throughout the whole range of motion. This means not only lifting the weight under control to a position of peak contraction, but lowering the weight under control as well, rather than letting it drop. Throughout the movement, you keep the tension on that body part so you never really lock out because a lot of times when you lock out you know you could stay in that position for quite some time there's no pain there so what you want to do is is keep the tension on that body part the most impressive thing to me is when a bodybuilder is standing on stage in the relaxed pose and they have the v taper from the lats down to a small waist and then they're small hips and then they come out with the balloon thighs. Control the weight, don't let it control you. And the squeeze in the repetitions, control it, that brings in the detail. This is a good place to talk about supination. Any bodybuilder will tell you that to fully peak the biceps when you hit a pose, you need to twist the wrist or supinate it as far as possible. This applies to training as well. As you are lifting the weight during a dumbbell curl, Twist the wrist slightly. Turn your thumb outward as you do the curl.
One thing to remember when you're training biceps is they get a, a large volume of work when you're training uh, other compound movements uh, like back and it's getting a tremendous amount of work. That's why it's so important to isolate the bicep and not cheat and not end up using your traps and shoulders and pecs when you're, when you're training your biceps by themselves. You have to learn to isolate and concentrate on the muscle group you're training. The basic mistake we often see in the gym when it comes to training chest is that there's too much pressing of the arms and not enough work from the pecs themselves. To properly develop the chest, the shoulders have to go forward from a backward shrug position to where the pecs are squeezed to the point of full contraction. If the shoulders don't go forward, then the pecs aren't worked directly. common mistake that a lot of bodybuilders make when they're doing flying type exercises is trying to go too heavy. Now flies for the most part are generally an isolation exercise and not really a mass building exercise. In fact, I've seen a lot of world champion bodybuilders go into the gym and just use like a 25 or 30 pound dumbbell and really isolate the muscle and learn how to feel the muscle effectively. One of the things that can happen when you do a fly too heavy is that you can strain or tear a pec insertion or a bicep muscle. So you want to be really careful to isolate the muscle and really learn how to feel it. Work those triceps. Work for balance and symmetry throughout your body. Bodybuilding isn't just about building muscles. It's about aesthetics, about building proportion, symmetry, and the slickness of the relationship from one muscle group to the other. So if you do it all together, you're going to get a beautiful body. Training the long head of the triceps is also an important part of the routine. The long head's fully extended when you're in a position with your elbow raised. You can feel the increase in tension down the back of the arm. Therefore, you need to do at least one exercise in your triceps routine that works the arm in this position. Leg exercises include leg press and various types of squats. Actually, the leg press exercise involves a lot of different muscles, affecting it to a different degree depending on where you are in your range of movement. I double my weight on the leg press than I do with the squat because it is, is more of controlled movement. You don't have to worry about balancing. Uh, if you have a, a back problem or lower back problem or any knee problems that I do have, I usually find myself on the leg press more so than the squat rack now.
the three-head deltoid muscle covers the shoulder joint ventrally, dorsally, and laterally. It flexes, extends, and rotates the arm medially and laterally. One of the things is that you have to work proper technique. And I wasn't using the proper technique exactly, so I was hitting a lot more of my front delts instead of my side or medial delts. So then I had to really concentrate on the side lateral movements, doing the movement correctly, so that I can really get that wideness on the medial head, so that when, you, when you're on stage, you have that appearance of looking a lot wider. With that wider appearance, you'll make your waist look smaller and look more symmetrical. not just good biceps and triceps, you gotta train your forearms. Everybody wants to see the forearms, it makes a nice, complete arm. You want to use basic movements such as power clean movements. You want to use uh, all your push-pull basic movements, presses, overhead, squatting, to build overall body mass. And for the back, you would be T-bar run your back, uh, bent over a T-bar, thick, lat thickness building movements. Uh, leg pressing, for example, is my favorite for the uh, leg building. Of course, training heavy with free weights doesn't mean you forget everything you know about technique, how muscles work, and what angles to work them to get the best results. You're working uh, a rear or behind the neck press will put, bring your arms more back so that you can hit slightly on the side delt as also the front delt, but it is a mass exercise. When you're doing front presses or military presses, you're working more on just your front head of your delt and you're working out. Then when you get to use dumbbells, you get more freedom of motion to work you know, each arm individually, plus you can rotate the arms in different ways, we can get a different feel on the deltoid, working the side and also the front. Of course, when you say the word diet, everyone automatically assumes you're talking about dieting to lose fat. But diet should really include all aspects of how and what you eat for all sorts of purposes. Eating for energy to help you exercise, to help you build muscle, and for those individuals who feel they are too skinny rather than too fat, to gain shapely, proportionate, lean body mass.
For example, bodybuilders don't only have to lower their body fat, they have to build the kind of quality muscle that results in a competitive physique. And they have to maintain as much of that muscle as possible even while dieting for fat loss. This means paying a lot of attention to nutrition, what they eat, rather than just how much they eat. The Burns Principle is when you do a complete set, full range of motion, then doing partial repetitions, forcing more blood and oxygen into the muscle. Once more on each arm. That's it. I'll do a few, four short little burns, halfway up. That's it. That's it. Halfway up. That's it. Turn your wrist. That's it. Get the bicep. Up. Get that peak. That's it. Turn your little finger towards your shoulder. That's it. Once more with this arm, and you're all set. There. One of the worst mistakes a bodybuilder can make is training too heavy. When you try to work with too much weight, it's impossible to do the exercises correctly or effectively. You may be training hard, but you won't get the kind of results you expect. Not only that, but subjecting your muscles to weights they aren't prepared to handle substantially increases your risk of training injury. I'm not interested in trying to impress other people in the gym by uh, training with very heavy weight or weight that I really cannot control. I don't go in the gym throwing heavy weights around. You see a lot of guys, they go in the gym, they just start piling weights on the bar, they grunt and they're groaning and they're banging out reps with whatever they're doing. I don't do that. Weight doesn't impress me. In the Weeder system, with a variety of different principles, you will know how to build mass, size, definition. You'll learn how to put on weight, take off weight, you will learn how to build energy, create power for sports, for the enjoyment of life, whatever you want. Just follow the advice of the champions that appear in my tape. They have gone through many years of training. They have utilized the Weeder principles. They have become great champions. In these tapes, they're going to tell you exactly how you could use these tapes, apply these techniques that have been in vogue since 1936 that revolutionized and established the basis of modern bodybuilding. Put these techniques to work for you.